So spoiler alert, if you don't love hankies, just move on to another video because we're going nuts over hankies here. Hi, Happy Hoarder here and welcome to part two of my massive video that I'm doing of all the stuff that I bought. So I went to my friend's garage sale and this is more like a family member because we are a part of a uh, theater family and I miss them very much since this whole COVID thing. So much has happened. But yeah, we haven't done anything in a while and so yeah, I really miss that bunch. So what I bought from them was a box of books for like 10 bucks and I got all these different books like here's The Life of Greece. And it's got some really good um, images of different sculptures and stuff, but not a lot. I don't know. No, I just managed to turn to one. But yeah, I don't know if this is a keeper, but it was just in the box. But something, yeah, I'll check it out. So whatever I don't keep, I'll just give back to God. I'm taking rolling hills. But I did find a lot of really cute books for decorating. I know I'm that terrible with decorate with books, but I actually plan on reading some of these. I do love books with the deckled edges, you know, the really rough edge. And so I, a lot of these have that in them. Um, this one has some plates in it. Let me see if there's more. No, just, I think the opening page has got a plate. So, um, yeah, I love it's got the little tissue paper and this is wait a second no it's english no wait there's a lot of french in here what's going on yeah i don't know the story but uh, this one is one of the ones that's probably in better shape it's got a nice little embossed thing on it it's, i would probably keep it for decoration but you just wait and see oh my goodness all the books i got so they were 50 cents a piece it was kind of funny because they she said you can have the whole box for 10 and her husband says I think we owe you change, but I said, no, nah, it's fine. I don't think she does. I know I'm looking, I have a lot of books here, but, um, yeah, I love the, I love the, the graphics on some of these. And that's one of the things that I've noticed. If you, if you have any of these books that, you know, you decorate with, yeah, you probably hadn't read them. Uh, this one has a nice clean edge, but I do like the lion on the front. I don't know what that's about. I check it out. So I'm kind of putting a pile of books that probably need to be read. Some I'm going to decorate with. Life of Pi. Okay, I don't know how that one got in there, but hey, that's cute. Might as well read it. Uh, this is a sweet little book. This is one, I like the, the jacket, but it does have the cutest. Look at the paper. Look at that cover. Oh, you know I'm pulling that off. I gotta do something with the jacket though, because I don't want to lose it. I'm gonna drop it. So it's got a sweet little jacket though. It's got the flowers on it. Hmm, I love that. I love that green. That is just so precious. Because I have some other, I have like a bunch of green books. I don't know what that was about. And this looks like Go With God. I have heard of Go With God by Jim Bishop. So this one was actually the, from the Carnegie Public Library. Great. But what I did get were just some Funk and Wagnalls Encyclopedia Volume 1. Aw. It's just goes it's just the ace i know let's see something like this now this one's it's got the embossed this would be a fun book to to do a it's got some really good graphics if you do collage this is a great book for that i know i hate cutting up books but i would do it because i know there's a lot of those books around so i i love these colors now i know the new colors are really these hot bright colors like from the 80s and he's just coming back, folks. Get ready to get a perm. But anyway, they these I love. These are my colors. They look better on me anyway. So these are the colors I like to decorate with anyway. And yeah, so this, I have these greens. But there is this one set. I'm going to show you. Look how, look how sweet this old worn out book is. I know we're so crazy. We like to decorate with books. This one is just beautiful with the silver embossed. Um. Yeah, I don't even know what these are about. But they're cute to look at. But there's a series here that's in here. Like, here's like, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of a newer one. I'll put it over here. Um, that one's probably a little newer, but I like the color. And this one's more of a vinyl cover, so it's a little bit newer too. But check this one out. I love this. This is all tore up. This one's called the Schoenberg Gata Family. And I was flipping through it. 
And it's kind of weird because it has some deckled edges, but yet yeah, some are smooth. I think it's just from damage. Yeah, it's pretty damaged. But it's got like Elsie's story and Fritz's story and, and all that. Uh, Ava's story. So, yeah, that's a this would be a good book to read. And it's falling apart, by the way. Oops, sorry. And then I have all these cuties. This is like a set that are just adorable. And, I, and the colors are so sweet. And here's a nice, a friend of Caesar. I just love the green. I get this kind of worn out, but you still get the green. And it's terrible. I don't know. This decorating with old books is still a thing. And I still like doing it. So I'm going to, need to insert a picture here. Um, when I was in Round Top, Texas, there was someone who had taken an old book and had tore it up and was and made the cute little stack of books. It was just really cute to look at. But I still like the colors with the jackets. Um, you know, even if you turn them this way, these have not really bad deckled edge. They have a pretty smooth cut edge. But I do have, I'm dropping everything today. Got droppyism. But I have a couple here that are pretty cute. What was the one? I know I had one in here that was really rough looking. So, yeah, Adventures of American Literature. Oh, yeah, we need that. Everybody needs that. Oh, how many books I'd end up with? Two, four. Wait, let's see. Wait, do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got my money's worth. It's like, four, there's like 14 or 15, like 20, like 26 books here. So, sure, that was a fun find. But, but there's more. There's always more. So, the other thing I got were, were these frames for a dollar each. Now, they really weren't. She let me have, like, these and that for $10. So, I got two of these frames. I actually have one of these frames. It's in a different color. So, she had two of these. And now that I have th three of them, I'm going to have to figure out something really cool to do with them. Because I think it'll be nice. I think my one's more of a red color, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while. I was using it. And then this thing is really cool. So you know how we're making our own um, tiered tray. So this is actually, I'm sorry, how am I holding this? This is a cake stand that has the stand, but also has a little glass insert. So you can put like flowers or whatever in it. So that's pretty cool for a dollar. Well, actually it wasn't even a dollar. All of this was $10. So ah, that box is heavy. So I'm gonna have fun with that. But here, here, here. Here is the thing I wanted you to see. She had one of those under the bed storage containers full of stuff. And I kind of looked down and went, wait, what is all this? And she was, oh, that was my grandmother's and, you know, and all this stuff. And I went, well, I don't even want to look at it. How much do you want for all of it? I said, I've got to do a video on this because this is the kind of stuff... I know I was something in here I love, and it was definitely worth the money, but it's just stuff I love to look at. And the first thing she kind of pulls out to show me, I went, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So anyway, uh, I'm a hanky girl. I have a big collection of little hankies, especially embroidery. Look at that. So I don't even know how, I know a couple of things that are in here, but like this, I didn't know. I didn't know what was in here. So I just dropped something. So yes, preciousness right there. I just realized I have a bag missing. I hope I don't forget that other bag. I don't know where I put it. Uh, a little hand towel. Now look, I know a lot of these need to be soaked, but look at this little tea towel with the embroidery. I'm gonna do some serious soaking. If you watch at least one of my other videos that had anything to do with something that was crocheted or embroidered, you know, I go, mm. Goofy on those, but isn't that sweet? I mean, like, I didn't, I did not know half of this stuff was in here. I just, just give me the box. I don't want to, I don't know. But I did tell her to just throw it in a bag because she could use that way. She could keep her under the bed storage box to hoard out more stuff to sell it to me the next time she has a sale. Yay. Anyway, that was, um, yeah, that's a cutie. Love it. More hankies. And I, and I have a, this drawer. I don't know if you can see and they can't see. In this, in this chest, I have a drawer full. And I will have to show a picture of that. Oh my gosh. Oh, preciousness. I know I'm too far away. Do you see? I don't have my lighting on. So it's going to be doing weird stuff. Sorry about that, guys. Not a focus is on. But that is this the sweetest tiny bit. Of, I think that's tatting. It looks like tatting. Oh, it's probably embroidery. Um, party hats. Now, what are these? Are these like to go in cups or something? Do you know? Like glass, like, 
like um uh vintage koozies yeah those i think they do i think they just go on little glasses but they're like little baskets or you could starch them and turn them into little baskets oh my goodness for like an easter table mm. i've always uh, this one's kind of oh my gosh it's just shredded but the little oh it is so shredded um I gotta find a use for part of this at least. So see half of it's still kind of good, a part of it. I'm gonna figure out a way to use maybe this corner on a doll. Put that in the doll stuff. This is like a child's hanky and it's got some rust stains. I hope it cleans up. It's Jack and the Beanstalk. Can you see him? I know he needs, yeah, well now you can't because lighting just changed. How about that automatic lighting app got to turn off? Like two of these, compare. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Easter, put those on Easter table. Yeah, so th uh, these are worse for wear, I will tell you, but I kind of love the fabric for, um, oh, and these are like bluebells or something. We call those things, yep. Uh, they're not Lily of the Valley, but they're kind of like that. The bells, some kind of bell. So I'm gonna throw those in my scrap fabric stuff. Um, this is another teeny tiny, like the one that I had with the, um, crocheted edge, same one. So I've got a little pair of those. Oh, all the hankies, y'all. This is good. This bag is full. I'll be here all day. Okay, but we're going to do this. I love it. Oh my goodness. The, the, uh, what is that called? I just know what that was called. Where they pull it, they pull, thread pulling or something. I just noticed I am like so red faced right now. I'm so excited. I'm blushing. But anyway, another little cutie thing uh i don't even know what this is oh my goodness it's had three things it's a collection and then it just kind of grows from there i do have an apron collection and this is just adorable look how cute this is i've got to do something amazing with all my aprons i just they're just so cute uh now these are doilies that yeah i think yeah that's what kind of made. That's pretty cool. I do like doilies. I don't know why. That's just my thing. I've always loved doilies. These are cute, cute with little butterflies on them. I don't know if those are like handmade or store-bought kind, though. Hang on. This is a such a sweet piece. It's a table cover. I wonder if I can... Oh, I wonder if I can clean this. If you have some better ideas, because this is some serious staining going on, really brown. It's like blood. That is a cute piece of um, cross stitch. That is That would be so precious if I can get, the, and this is crocheted on. Wow. I mean, I, I hope I can get those rustics. Now I've actually tried, um, I tried, Hydrogen peroxide and stuff, and I will try the you know oxyclean first and see if that works. Uh, another apron. So where's my apron pile? Okay, you're like that pile and that you pile, and here is another apron. Oh, she has no idea. Thank you, Heather, for all this. Oh my gosh, I love these. Look how sweet these are. There's two aprons. Another apron. Okay, so that's you know that is a this is like kind of flower set no it isn't all right so look how it's made with the orange in the middle i don't know why it's made that way but that's pretty darn cute um another hanky this might be able to do this with a little applique stuff i don't even know what that is <laughs> some kind of design so it's got this little blue cut work oh, wait now what do you call that like applique design so that's so sweet, but that is the weirdest thing. Is it a letter? Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. It's a blue thing. A uh, little crochet thing. Uh, yeah. Another child. You know what? I think of all the hankies. I have, I have no, I've never had like a child one. And here I have two. Look, this has got little girls on it. That is so sweet. Oh my goodness. This is, oh, y'all, this is Thursday. <gasps> These are the day of the week. Hankies. Oh, I get excited about the weirdest stuff. I didn't know there was such a thing. But yes. See, it's got the little, all the girls. Oh my goodness. Too cute. Too cute. 
I don't know why we like to have these things. We just like to take them out and look at them and say, look, I've got this. This is, uh, has a, a, a raw edge on it. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. I'm ironing out and figure it out. Uh, hmm, I don't know what pile to put it in. Put it there. <sighs> Some more embroidery stuff. And oh, it's a tea towel. Look at this just sweet little pink edge on it. I don't have a lot of pink, but now I do. And these little soaking. Oh, and it's got a white edge too. That is sweet. So just a little tea towel. It's just a little doily thing. It's just round. I don't know. Doily. Put the doily pile. Good. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting all confused here. That's tea towels. You're a tea towel. I'm getting everybody organized. Just a little doily thing. There. Uh... Mm, I think that's stitched on. I, I think that the trim is actually stitched on. It's not crocheted. And a little round table cover. Yes. I have a little round table. So I can use round table covers. So one of the things that was in here were like baby blankets that were wool and kind of cool. And you know I got my creepy babies. And how cool is that going to be? Even with all the holes, I think that's going to be kind of cool. But to just kind of display them on. Because they look really old. So more of these guys. What? I'm glad she held on to them. I will find a use for pieces of them, but they are shredded. Shredded ones over there. This is a bunny. I think this was going to be a handkerchief at one time, but it never got the trim. And a child or something maybe had uh, embroidered on it. And, and it looks like a child did it, but that's pretty darn sweet. That's cute. Oh my, oh my, oh my. That apron is beautiful. Seriously, look at the preciousness of this. Oh my goodness. Another one of these. I said, those kind of look more store bought. This one's kind of had it. Um, hmm, I don't know. Oh no, this one's in pretty good. Ooh, is it? Yeah, this one's in pretty good shape. I mean, my clean up. Oh my gosh. It's bright. That is a bright one. So that's a good one. We'll put that one. That's kind of the umber on that pile. Oh, these aprons are killing me. <laughs> They're so precious. Look. Oh my. Oh, I have it backwards. <gasps> Look at this. Are you kidding me? No, I would say this is Orgela. Now, this one, the pocket, is it torn? No, it's just loose. Oh, it was right. It is, does have a tear right here, though. Oh, it's got a tear right there. It's so fragile. Look, it's just like coming apart. No, that was not. That is the uh, lace. No, it's just that one little spot right there and a little hole in the lace down here. But that is so, so delicate. Why it's tearing? This thing look really fancy. Big old tablecloth. I don't know. It's, uh, it's big. Maybe it'll fit my table. I hope so. That's really big. Another gigantic tablecloth, but check it out. It's got this really beautiful edge. So I don't know what the measurements are. This is uh, like a store-bought kind. I don't think this was hand. No, it's not handmade. So, or a sheet. Is this a tablecloth or a sheet? Huh. Do you know, I think this is a sheet. There's no thing on this edge. Oh, wow. That, but how pretty. But it's little. It's like a twin. Aw, oh, but it's so cute. Yes, yeah, so it's got this on the edge. I thought it was a table. It's a big old sheet. So it's kind of cute. I don't have a twin bed though. All right, you may have to find a home somewhere else. More of these little uh, hankies that are a little bit on the shredded side. Got some tears. Why aren't you coming apart? There it is. Oh, this is so Eastery and sweet. Oh my goodness, this thing is so fragile. <laughs> it's just back toward doing that. Crochet pieces. Uh, oh, look, <laughs> that's like for uh, 4th of July. This may be a little bit better shape. I carried one of these in my purse for many years. It was my grandmother's. I still have it, but yeah. That's a good one. Oh, it's another one of these. Uh, it's a good shape. Oh, that is so cute. I just realized it not only does it have all this little cut work, I mean, pull 
work or whatever they call it. It's also got embroidery. I know it's really hard to see, but believe me, it does. Just teeny tiny bits of embroidery. Um, one of these. Oh, oh, another one's just a sweet little corner. That's all it is. Just a little, one little corner. And this is kind of mm, had it just kind of coming apart. This one is just beautiful, but it does have some tiny little unwanted holes in it right there. But look at that pretty green. And you know, I'm going to save this for like mm, next March. I think I should save a lot of these for March. Good to have a little bit of green in them. Even though they've got green and blues because that would look cute to have. You know, I've got some great ideas for next year. I always have good ideas for later. This one's in good shape, and that one is precious. They're so precious. The, wow, wow, this one's got a lot of work. Y'all, we're not even halfway through the bag, so just hang tight. We got a lot to look at. <laughs> I just got to show this one off. The, okay, it's got the four. I, that's a, this not really a dogwood. It just has four. Oh, you can't see it that way. I've got to put some dart behind it. Can you see that? Isn't that sweet? It's got four petals. It could be a dogwood. It kind of looks dogwoody. Uh, this is another one of these that's probably, like I said, store-bought. They're not made very well, but I could still probably find a use for that lace or hide it. In a way, we can't see it. This is, oh my goodness, this is, uh, my, what do you call this? Somebody tell me what this is called, please it over and they stitch it down like this it is type of applique but they actually have folded the fabric over and sewn it down I just can't think of that is delicate work and beautifully done perfectly done this has some of the pull work on it and really beautiful little pale blue embroidery on that it's not really showing up very well i can't believe my lighting's not working for me now oh, come on Another one of these is just so cute and colorful and in pretty good shape. A little bit yellowed, but a little so. Uh, more embroidery stuff that's a little table cover. This one's a hot mess. Oh, I hope I can save some of these. I was surprised that I was able to save something that I had. Um, I know it has one or two bad places as far as the embroidery goes, but I've got that color thread. I'm sure I have that thread. I have a lot of thread. Oh, this is Christmas. Look at that old Christmas hanky. Bring back hankies, man. Look at that. This one's really aged looking look. That is just the color, I believe. Is that, oh my gosh. Do you see how cute that is? I like those colors though. Oh, she only knew how much I love this stuff. I just love it so much. Do you see, can you see that design? Not really. It's so wrinkled. Those are adorableness. Um, okay, so back to more of these. Oh, wow. That's made out of those towels. That is made out of a towel. Okay, that's pretty darn cute. That is pretty clever. Oh, by the way, one of these fell out, so I have four of these. I know I have two purples and two of the blues. I think they go around glasses. I'm going to see if I have some little juice glasses or something these will fit on. I'll look it up. Oh, that one is so fancy. That's, um... Kind of embossed or whatever. No, is it? No. It's like silk screened. Yeah. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, another. I have more runners right now than I know what to do with. But I love them. And now my mess. I'm getting everything mixed up. That's this. This goes here. You go over there. Try to get organized. Okay, this is, okay, so this is what she showed me, and I said, sold. Um, I just freaked out completely. Look at this full-length linen, fine linen, by the way. Do you see how long this is? And I'm holding, I think, backwards. No, that's, that's the front. Look at the embroidery on that. Now, this is a very, very beautiful apron, and fine linen, I mean, incredibly gorgeous uh a little bit spot tt tiny spot but other than that amazing i got oh uh, that's just like a, that's really vintage i think that came on for something like a dress i'm actually throwing that in with my doll stuff and oh i just a uh, little scraps 
Oh, oh, see, that is so cute. I just like when people have these and they're just like, did you never use this? More of that. Oh, but there's more. Y'all, this is a bag full. And it's the way the dime. We're only halfway through the bag. Full of stuff. Like, I hope, hope, hope I can save a lot of this stuff. That is so cute. He's just a little one. I'm going to have to give me some fancier tea stuff now. Because this is like really. Although, although, I take that back. That is going to look so precious with my tea set. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I, I know it's like the right green, but it's a green. Or even this one. See? Oh, my goodness. They're kind of go together. They're more contemporary. I love that. That is really kind of art deco. Who knew? I did not know there was such a thing as an art deco style of embroidery, but that would definitely fill the bill. Now, see, this is still usable. That's a nice little dish rag. Pretty colors, too. <laughs> These are the colors that are in now. Oranges and weird stuff like that. Um, this is a, maybe a, no, I think it's a ladies. It's just a plain one. This is a jacket made out of a towel. I am totally wearing this for the rest of the video. Yeah, it just smells like it's been in, in storage a little bit. Yep. Okay, I'm bringing this back, girls. I am totally bringing this back. How about this? Let me fix my collar. My necklace. Got my head down to my shirt. Oh, yeah. That's that's the look. That's what we're going for. That is so cute. <laughs> so, oh, another. Oh, I love this set. So, these are like the place. Oh, my gosh. I get nuts over the weirdest things. But this, these are like the placemats. And then you've got the centerpiece. And I love, love, love. Okay. Beautiful. Love that stuff. Love, I mean, love that set right there. Too cute. So this is these, this stuff. And this is kind of in bad shape. So it's kind of going to go in my scrap pile. Oh, well, you know, it's just, <gasps> look at the angels. Do you see the little angels on the edges and the snowflakes? Aww. So the center, I love the trim. I don't know. Maybe, I, um, mm, mm, I don't know. I'm going to put that in the kind of a, maybe I can fix that. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe just save it for the lace trim. That's a sweet little piece. That is, the, okay, so this is weird. It's like, that's cute. But I don't know what happened to this flower. It's just got a mind of its own. Uh, yeah, that is weird. That doesn't go with the other one at all pink with some um, some um, crochet around the edges. Very fancy. I'm going to have to start having like a box that says pink stuff, <laughs> blue stuff, green stuff. Figure it out from there. Uh, pink and blue. Been confusing. Okay, we'll call it pastels. And this one goes with the red one. So over there. Got a, got a matching set of those. And I did I have this one? I have a bigger one in this. So I have some of these that were my grandmother's actually. The little round was my mess. I gotta resort it. Uh runner. Another table runner. But this is that one. I mean, I don't know what the story is with these, with the little sewn edges. Not my favorite, but I do like the lace for something. Oh wow. Oh wow. So that is um now this is a hot plate holder, but these things I've seen people are making these now for like scrubbies to wash your dishes with. That's kind of cool. <laughs> kind of rough for your face though. Ah, uh, that's pretty sweet. So that's another one of those. Oh, but there's more. All right, so this is the other thing I saw when I said sold. I don't even know what this is. I don't know. I think it's a tablecloth. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Okay. It's a really good shape too. Look at look at the corners of the table. It's all I know, cows. A guy walking his his milking cows. Yeah. And they're on all four corners. That is some pretty darn cuteness right there. That came from somewhere. That looks very uh yeah, because of the collars that the cow, she must have picked this up like in Ireland or somewhere. Now that's Swiss, looks very Swiss. And that's probably where that beautiful, I, I had to ask her if her grandmother traveled. So that's what that reminds me of. What in the world? 
Yeah, okay, this may be my clue right here. Um, for both, wait, wait, this, this looks like, hang on, I'm gonna figure it out. All right, how are you at languages? Hand printed in Sweden, Swiss. So, oh, look at this table cover. Oh, I hope I can get that spot out, but oh my goodness, and look at the little bells, and those little, I kind of look like Lily of the Valleys, but I don't know if they are. I think they're more of those little bell things. That is so cute. There's so much cuteness. It does have a spot on it, but I may be able to get that out. And you know what? If I can't get it out, I'll just set something on it. Fix that. You never know. This is very big. Uh, this is really, I think, I thought this was going to be a tablecloth. Because it was kind of folded up. I mean, still folded up. You know what? It may be a sheet. Maybe another. Oh, our curtain. It is heavy. It's like a really heavy cotton. But it's. And now it's not very long. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you know what? I think it is. Aw. It's got initials on it. What is this? I don't know. It's sewn down the middle. I don't know what this is. It's really, 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 you hear how heavy that is? And then only has the embroidery at one end. So if y'all know what this is, please let me know. But I mean, this is some heavy cotton, like sailcloth. <laughs> Not that heavy. Anyway, another one of these, a little bit yellowed. Uh, oh, this is so cute. Oh my goodness. I love that I have it. Well, you can't see it when I say that. That's so mean of me. But can you see, am I the right side? Let me show you this side. No, I think they're different. No, they're the same. Actually, they're different. I think they ran out of black and they used some gray. So see how this one has some gray on the, on the little handle, on the basket, hand, I mean, hanging platter thing. And this one is all black. But that's really, really a cute runner. Oh my gosh, they're so precious. Now, um, this is another just adorable little table cover, just like a card table cover. That is, this is more like a, you know, a heavy cotton as well. That's got the cross stitch. I'm on the wrong side. Cute colors though, look. Oh, that'd be so cute for um, St. Patrick's. It's kind of got a good, I like oranges with the greens for St. Patrick's, so hmm, maybe. Use for that a baby blanket for my creepy babies. Okay, so here was a really cute thing. Some of her clothes were in here. She said, "Yeah, I just throw them in there." But look how cute this little <laughs> polyester dress! Yay! I don't know how we survived all that polyester when we were kids. But look at Winnie the Pooh. So this is probably you know the machine embroidery thing, but it's Winnie the Pooh of then the bee and um. Little Rue, oh, that is the cutest thing. And then she had like a sailor dress that was in there. That's really a sweet little baby dress. That is just so cute. It has the made, you know, the made in America type tags, union made or whatever. It has one of those tags. I thought this was really cute. It's just a little baby jacket, but it does have some wear areas. Oh, the stain, I may be able to get that stain out. I know. I hope I can get that out. It's just a little quilted uh, robe. No ironing. I'm a Montgomery Ward. <laughs> She's much younger than than I, by the way. Uh, yeah. So that's really cute. Just a sweet little thing. And then I loved this. It's so bright and cute and sweet. Just a baby. I hope that will come out. It's just a little spot there. But look how cute that is. And that's a little bridges. Little the little you know, plastic lined bottoms and that's pretty big let me see what size that is i bet that's like a ba a big baby size that's from sears and it's oh no this is newborn some big old newborns that is pretty big look look how big okay no way that is not newborn well it does say up to 14 pounds so maybe yeah. more of these little things uh this is coming <laughs> man's hanky been used Oh, that's so sweet. Just a little bitty doily thingy. I don't know what you call the linen ones. Are those called doilies too? Now that is precious, but it is born. <gasps> Harriet Kemp. I don't know what that means, but it's got a few holes in it. But this is another, like probably a child. Look at the little embroidery and the um, 
applique on it. It's so sweet. Oops. I have got a mess to clean up now. I'm going napkin on this one. Yeah, it's a napkin. Oh, napkins. Oh, napkin. Oh, cool. Just white napkins. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think those are the same. If not, I'm using them all together. Either way. Another little cute tea towel, which is the sweetest. I got some laundry to do, ladies. Look how cute that is, though. Oh, that is so not. You know why? That is just so simple and just just elegant. I love it. Uh, this is like another pull work with a little embroidered flower. I cannot wait to get these all cleaned up and put in my drawer. It's crazy, I know. My drawer's gonna be stuffed full now. Look at that. All that little. No, this is machine embroidered, but it's still sweet. Did I see one like this? No. This has the cut work on it uh, and a little embroidery on the corners. So, spoiler alert, if you don't love hankies, just move on to another video because I'm going nuts over hankies here. That is a, just so precious. Oh, my God. Where was all this one? I needed it for Easter. Girl, you're holding out on me. This one has never been used. And it's all linen. And it has a big E. Hey, I gotta find someone with E. First name is E. Let me know. You need this. Because you need this. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. But there's more. Hang on. Hang on. So, my friend had these that her grandmother made. And these are more, more like quilt. Anyway. So, yeah. She had them for a dollar each. But this kind of came into the everything for 20 bucks pile. And look. 1965. Aren't they so sweet? So there's one, okay, and then this is why I wrapped it in. And this came from Iran. I don't know when, but check it, I mean, see the stamp, I have to zoom in. But yeah, that's a, that's a thing, and that's kind of a cool table. I don't know when I would use that, but yeah. And then, whoa, let me get my bird out first before I have a, a big time accident. Hang on, come here. So I have two. Three. So I have one facing this one, one that's just sitting. <clears throat> I think I two doing the same thing. And so then this, okay, this was in the bag of, and this, I'm thinking tablecloth. I'm going to go tablecloth on this one because I keep saying everything's a tablecloth because that's an awfully big scarf if that's a scarf. It could be a scarf though because, no, that's got to be a little tablecloth, right? Very shiny, fancy. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a pain to iron. My pile is huge. I like my big pile. Okay. <clears throat> oh my gosh. So then here's my other bird, which is also, these two match. Yeah, so I got three birds. But yes, ones can go in one the other way. And then they look different. And so I wrapped it up in another one of these uh, aprons. But check out the cuteness at the bottom. How sweet is that? I should totally wear these. I don't even remember to wear the one I have out in my kitchen and I get food on me. I'm just, I don't know why. Anyway, so thank you to Heather and Dusty. I love y'all so much. And I miss you terribly because we aren't getting together to do our theater stuff. But soon we will be doing back to living our lives, we hope, and having fun doing that. But thank you for all this stuff and I will cherish it. And you know I will. You know how bad I am. And I, I do truly love this stuff. So Anyway, thanks to y'all, and hey, thanks everyone else for watching, and don't forget, hit like. I need a like on this one. This one was a lot of work. And subscribe if you haven't, and hey, hit that notification button, because sometimes I make really good videos. Bye!